changing with the time. Seems like every other week something new pops up to make a farmer's job more efficient. Yeah, in this month's edition of Ranger Nick, UGA Associate Professor Dr. Nick Furman shows us how new technology is helping to monitor soil moisture just with the click of a mouse. Well, just like the wireless remote control in your hand, the world of agriculture is going wireless and has been wireless and is continuing to get more and more remote every day. I'm standing with a friend of mine, Dr. Matthew Chappell with the University of Georgia, who has been spearheading some efforts to remotely examine conditions under the ground so that farmers can monitor how things are going with their crops and plants. Dr. Chabell, I'd love to talk to you a little bit today about what we're able to monitor under the ground on the farm monitor. It works out just perfectly. Perfect. So can we go over and kind of look at and talk to me a little bit about what you monitor or what might a farmer be interested in monitoring under the soil with regards to their plants? Absolutely. Let's go over. Yeah, let's check it out. So there's a lot of different things that you can measure environmentally. For example, soil moisture or the fertility, the, the amount of fertilizer and nutrition available to your crop. You can take soil temperature, for example, most of our seeds need a certain temperature to germinate, so we can actually monitor and measure that. So a lot of things under the ground that are happening, and until recently, by recent I mean the last decade to two decades, it's been very hard for us to understand on a very local level what's going on. For example, on a single farm versus a weather station that's run by a government like the National Weather Service. Interesting. I mean, in this kind of stuff, from my understanding, even in the construction industry, we are able to monitor things under the concrete to determine where parking spaces are in large cities. So some of the things you're talking, moisture, pH, those kinds of things, let's talk a little bit next about how you're able to monitor those remotely over the Internet, just like we could do really through a cell phone. So we'll dive into that next. So you talk to us about the kinds of things that you're measuring. Talk to us about how you're measuring it and how some of this equipment that's laid out in front of us is giving you information that a farmer would make a decision with. Right, correct. So there's very few pieces of hardware that we're dealing with here. You obviously need to have a computer or a tablet or a phone, some, some way to connect to the internet. But then there's this, which is the node. And the node is very simply something that collects data from a variety of sensors. This is a soil moisture, temperature, and fertility or electrical conductivity sensor. You can put that into the soil and it will continually measure those factors, okay? Mm -hmm. That's just one example of many different types of sensors. This node collects that data and it's got an antenna and it transmits it so that it can be visualized on a web page, okay? So now you can see your data anywhere you are in the world. And another type of sensor, just to give you another one, that you can hook up is this. This is a leaf wetness sensor, okay? And there are dozens of different environmental sensors that you can hook up and visualize your data anywhere in the world. It's just incredible. I can sit in my living room on my phone, look at the amount of moisture on a leaf, look at the pH, the moisture in the soil, and now I can be more targeted in the amount of water I put down, in the pesticide I put down, I can save money, and I can even benefit wildlife by increasing the number of maybe positive insects there and helping those animals feed. Incredible stuff. The technology is amazing. Well, the rain's starting to fall here outside of Athens, Georgia, and I'm sure those moisture nodes are just going off the chart. Doc, let's say I'm watching at home. I want to learn more information. I want to think about getting one of these things. What do I do from here? Well, there's a website that we've created and tried to simplify this down into very understandable terms. It's smart-farms.net. It's very easy. We actually have learning modules on there. Anybody can access them. You can walk yourself through and find out what a sensor network is. It's great for high school students, middle school students. It's a really nice resource. Wow. So talk about environmental monitoring and involving students and families and kids with this. Incredible stuff. Hooking them into agriculture. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Doc, for hanging Appreciate out today. It. It's been a great time. If you're like me and you want to learn more, click on that link. And while you're on the Internet, hop on over to the Georgia Farm Monitor Facebook page and like that. Scoot over to the Ranger Nick Facebook page and like that. And I so appreciate y'all communicating with me like that. And as you know, with Extension, we're reaching out and helping people all over the country, especially here in Georgia, and we thank Extension so much. Y'all, I got to get ready to go. The moisture sensors at my house are going off pretty high on my phone. Until next time, for the Farm Monitor, I'm Ranger Nick, reminding you that enthusiasm is contagious, so pass it on. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here again next month. See ya.